Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're clicking on this video, I know the title might sound so weird because I'm supposed to be happy. I just hit 10,000 subscribers on this channel, and the title is saying I want to give up. <laughs> or let's say I'm considering giving up. And to be honest, I just want to talk about something that. I've actually like struggled to talk about on this channel. Like I said, I hit 10,000 subscribers. That is a milestone. I mean, 10,000 real people subscribe to my channel and it's just, it's a lot of hard work. I can't lie. I put in a lot of work to make that happen for myself. But I think I made some mistakes with my channel and that actually just made it so hard for me to want to, you know, put in effort and keep creating. Like, I just feel like giving up and just like probably starting over again or just like giving everything time. So I'm going to be breaking this video down into three or four parts. The first one is what mistakes did I make? So what are the mistakes I made with my channel? What am I talking about? What am I thinking of? giving up when I just eat 10,000 subscribers. I mean, that is a crazy milestone. And the second thing would be, are my subscribers real? Are they real? Are they fake? <laughs> and how did I manage to get my subscribers? Also, I'll be talking about something real personal to me, which is how have I been able to like um, make money off my um, content and my creative work. So... If you're watching this video right now, I will appreciate if you see it to the end because that will be helping my channel. That will literally be saving my life on my channel right now because what I'm about to talk about is going to shock a lot of people. Okay, so the first thing is, why am I thinking of giving up right now that I just hit 10,000 subscribers on my channel? I am thinking of giving up because my channel is not monetized and that is crazy. I know, right? That is crazy because, I, you know, I have 10,000 followers. I have over 300,000 views on this channel. I have um, some amazing videos on this channel that I've done some decent numbers, but I've not been able to monetize my channel. So, and that brings me to the second thing, which is the mistakes I made. So, and before I talk about the mistakes I made, I have to talk about the reason why I created uh, my YouTube channel because I feel like, you need a reason before you start doing something, at least for me. So I created my YouTube channel to actually teach people. Because when I started graphic designing in 2014, 2015, when I started learning, I figured out that most tutorials online about whatever I wanted to learn was created by um, the foreign account, you know, the Europeans, Americans, and... Those were just the type of videos that I was coming across. And then I, I noticed that it was kind of like hard for me to like follow up with things. So that makes it very hard for me. And I just started considering that what if I had like other people growing up like me as well that want to learn about creating stuff, you know, um, the old Photoshop after I fair Premiere Pro and they find it hard to learn from these people. What is going to happen? So I promised myself that whenever I get to this certain level of um, professionalism and the crafts, I am going to start making YouTube tutorials to show people, you know, to teach people in this English, normal English that I'm speaking right now, whereby everyone growing up like me can understand and can easily follow up with these videos. And that is the one reason why I created my channel. So I didn't know anything about YouTube monetization or I didn't know it could be a full-time thing. I just wanted to create tutorials that actually help people like genuinely help people so i fell into this trap which is the first mistake that i made i wasn't consistent with my youtube channel so i've had my youtube channel like i said since 2015 and i just posted videos once in a while you know when i figure something out and i want to show people i create videos they watch it and i go off again so i wasn't consistent and on the long run, that was actually hurting my channel because I need 4,000 watch hours within a year to be able to monetize my channel. But the fact that, you know, I go two years, a year, three years in between my videos, just 
made the wash. I was like, once I'm, if I'm close to it, it goes down again. You know, I start, but I wasn't, I wasn't, I didn't even have like the analytics or anything on my channel. I was just posting, like I said, genuinely from a genuine place, posting to teach people. And that brings me to the second mistake that I was making worse. You know, and I won't say it's a mistake because I have bills to pay. I have life to get to. It's a lot of hard work. To be honest, YouTube is a lot of hard work. So if you're looking into getting into YouTube, just know right now that it's a lot of hard work. It is a lot of hard work, focus, and just like dropping everything for it. So, you know, at times I only create these videos whenever I get a chance to. Rather than make time for them, I only create these videos whenever I get time, uh, whenever I get a chance to. So on the long run, I wasn't producing a lot of videos. Although I have like 200 and something videos on my channel right now, most of them are short videos that I've created. And that brings me to the third mistake, which is my videos were too short. You understand? So because short videos mean shorter watch hours so i won't be able to eat the four thousand hours even if i have a lot of views on it and another thing is i was scared of making my videos too long because i don't know if you guys want to watch long videos or you guys want like it's a lot of hard work like it's a lot of thought process a lot of doubts so i just kept on making my videos so short and so precise and like i said it was hurting my channel um i have ten thousand subscribers and are my subscribers real? Yes, they are real. My subscribers are real. Like, they are real people. Like, even after I gained 10,000 subscribers, I have over 100, 100 people subscribed to my channel right now. And how did I do that? I did that two ways. I used what I'll call the dark art of social media, which is I created um, a video that went viral. So, I created a product around that video that people can download and use in their own videos as well. But they need to be subscribed to my channel before they can be able to access the products. And I mean, just that got me like 10,000 views on that particular product with, yes, over 10,000 downloads as well. So that just made people subscribe to my channel, you know, just to access the product. And I think that is fair because the product is free and it's really good, you know, good viral video products. And people just kept on subscribing to my channel. Also, I was producing some um, viral shots. And people were subscribing to my channel through the shot as well. So, are my subscribers real? They are totally real. And no bots. Um, these are real people subscribe to me with my ad work and everything I've put into my YouTube channel. So, like I said, I've just been thinking of, should I start a new YouTube channel? Is this ever going to work for me? Because it's really crazy, you know. I want to start doing some more stuff on this channel, you know. Invest some more money into my channel to produce some high quality videos. But you know, when you're putting in um, investment and you are not sure if you get get it back in return, it just create this kind of doubts and just make it very hard for you to keep up with. So, like I said, if you watch this video to this end, that means you love me, you love my channel, and I appreciate that. Like you're literally saving my life right now. You're literally saving this channel right now. So just know that, and I love that. And which brings me to the final thing that I'll be talking about in this video is if I'm not making like none of my social media um, pages are monetized. By the way, I have over hundred thousand um, followers on TikTok, over almost thirty thousand on Instagram, over five k on Facebook. None of it are monetized. So how have I been able to to um, monetize my craft to make money off my creations and my skills? I've actually been shooting for other people, you know, great content for other people. You know, I do a lot of things behind the scene. You know, I'm a graphic designer, a motion graphic designer, a motion designer, and other stuff like that. Also, I've been lucky enough to collaborate with some amazing brands in my content creation journey. You know, I've been doing brand collaborations. I mean, I collaborated with Photoshop, Lightroom, Disney, Spotify, TikTok, CapCut. I have amazing, like, I won't even, like... 2024 has been an amazing year for me. You know, I moved into my new apartments. I got my car. <laughs> I got a new laptop. I got my second camera, by the way. I've been on some shows. Everything is great. Like, I won't even lie. Everything has been great for me. But, you know, this YouTube has just been something that has been missing for me. So, yeah, if you're watching this right now, I really appreciate you. 2024 has been an amazing year regardless. Thank you guys for supporting me, for watching my channel. And I hope from this video, I'm able to find 
um, a reason to continue this channel, not to give up. Because I'm not someone that likes giving up. I mean, I give myself a fair chance at everything. But sometimes you just got to know when to like take a break or just go off totally. And I hope this is not it. So I want you guys to like, comment, subscribe, comment something. Let me know what I need to do, what you need to, what you want to see on the channel. If you're an active subscriber, let me know. Um, um, like, share this video with someone, someone that wants to start a YouTube channel so they don't make silly mistakes like I did. And let them know that this is a lot of hard work that takes dedication and time. And I hope I'll see you guys in other videos, hopefully. <laughs> and yeah, that will be all for this particular video. Thank you guys once again for 10,000 subscribers. You guys have been amazing. And remember to stay wicked always, stay blessed, and cheers.